All right, Vern, the 2024 NFL draft is heading to Detroit, and these birds, uh, a hawk and a falcon, have a very important job during all of this. Oh. Poop duty. Yes. Oh. Luke Laster explains. Is that a falcon or a hawk? Uh, this one is a hawk. Meet Cersei, the seven-year-old Harris hawk. Strengths include teamwork and adaptability. Her trainer, Paul Thomas, says her NFL comparison, linebacker. Uh, they're very natural falconry bird, so they're easy to train. They come back very well. And next we have Yahtzee the Falcon, the offensive threat. NFL comparison, running back. They're coming in, they can get hit 80 or 100 miles an hour when they're coming by you. Both of these birds of prey, though, have one job as we welcome the NFL draft to the Motor City. Poop duty. That's right. Thomas says these two birds essentially serve as scarecrows perched on the arms of their owners, Paul and Therese of Scare Force Falconry. It's fun to come in and have to dissect what we have going on. We try different different methods of bird control and finding out what works and then finding those combinations and putting them together and actually being able to control the birds in the area is kind of a, a challenge and it's fun for us. Contracted by Bedrock Detroit, these experts use various tools, aside from the birds of prey, to keep smaller birds from pooping all over the side of buildings and making a mess. Thomas says they've been at it a few weeks already and are contracted to be around for months following the draft. It's been cool to really uh, get to be a part of the draft and a part of the city that we love. One of our favorite parts of the job is just interacting with the people and talking to the people of Detroit and seeing their excitement with seeing the birds and they've really embraced us. Mm. Interesting job. All right, a couple of lucky young fans at the Giants-Marlins game tonight. A kid caught a foul ball, and then he did the unexpected. He gave the ball to his baby sister. <laughs> Might have to now. There you go. Oh, that's excellent. That's beautiful. <laughs> the kid worked hard to catch the ball. You saw him dart over the stairs to snag it. Uh, barely beat a couple of other contenders there, but ultimately gave the ball to his little sister. Mom and dad are probably incredibly, incredibly proud.